My name is Brian Marsh. I've prepared this video to provide an overview of the eTourism monthly report. This report has been saved as a PDF, so you'll need a PDF reader to open this file. The most commonly used PDF reader is the Adobe Reader, which can be downloaded at get.adobe.com forward slash reader. The first page within the report is the title page. The title page will include the month the report is based on. This report is a dummy report made out for hotel e-tourism. This report is based on September 2012. The second page within this report is the table of contents. For easy reference, you are able to access different pages within the report by clicking on the number to the right hand side. For example, if we wanted to load website traffic, we can easily click on the page number 4 which will take us to the fourth page. We're going to move back to the top of this report. The third page within the report is an overview. For hotel e-tourism, there were 19 bookings made in September, totaling sales of $22,762. One keyword increased their search engine positioning by one position in September. You received 3,266 unique visitors in September. The overview will give the important information, like little snippets that can be easily accessed from the overview page. Okay, the fourth page will include information on your website traffic. This section highlights the number of unique views, the busiest day of the month, demographic information, and stats on the use of mobile phones on your website. We've also included a comparison to the previous month. For this report, for hotel e-tourism, unique visitors in September was 3,266. Unique visitors in August was 2,628. So the unique visitors were up. The 29th of September was the busiest day with 150 unique visits. The busiest day information is important. It's good to see if you're running a campaign or a promotion if there's any spikes in your traffic. 1.1 has the demographics. 82.33% of September's traffic was from Australia. 5.07% of September's traffic was from New Zealand. This is good to highlight where your second biggest audience is. 1.2 is mobile statistics. 393 which is 12.95% of September's traffic visited the site using a mobile phone. We've included this information to highlight the importance of mobile version and website. Have you reviewed your website using your smartphone? Why not visit your website and review how your website looks on a smartphone? Moving down to page 5, search engine marketing. This page includes an overview of the efforts that we've put into your website over the past month. For the last month, we have strived to increase your website's visibility by improving your rankings in the results page. We incorporated two search engine optimization techniques to achieve that. The first is through directory submission. We utilized local listings to inform search engines that your site is significant for a particular location. Your listings not only act as a quality backlinks, they also act as additional pages to search engine results, which greatly affects memory recall of your properties to potential guests. Sites we use include, but are not limited to, True Local, Hot Frog, and Start Local. The second is by saving your pages through social bookmarking. Search engines give great importance to the backlinks pointed to inner pages. The easiest and fastest way to do that is to bookmark them. We've made use of sites like Blinklist, Tags are, stumble upon, and delicious. These methods both increase your page's ranking in search, search results as well as generate direct traffic. Both equate to more visits and a higher chance of bookings. Page 6 Traffic Sources September's Top 10 Sources. So for hotel e tourism in September, 1,595 visits were equated to Google organic results. Anna Capri referred 650. Remember, this report is dummy and it includes dummy data. Direct or none with 301. So 301 people 
directly entered the website without going through a search engine. Queensland Holidays referred 139 people. VisitGoldCoast.com referred 53. Bing, another popular search engine, sent 49 visits or people to Hotel Tourism's website. Yahoo, 27. StumbleUpon, 21. GoldCoast.io, 15. GoldCoast eTourism, 14. You won't often see the IFU eTourism Holidays Network in your traffic sources. Traffic generated from eTourism Holidays is usually handled directly to a booking engine and not through your website. Our search engine marketing efforts is, is about directing people directly to your website. It's about increasing your search engine rankings. It's about increasing your referrals so more traffic hit your website. Page 7 includes a keyword rank comparison for September. For hotel e-tourism, the search term hotel accommodation was first in August, second in September, and then back up to first in October 2012. The second keyword e-tourism paradise apartments was 29th position in August, 29 again in September, and 33rd in October. E-tourism accommodation 75, 75, and 76. The fourth keyword e-tourism family apartments service paradise was first, second, and then third in October, and e-tourism family apartments, 12th, 10th, and 10th. It's important to remember when looking at the comparison table that your results will fluctuate. From month to month, they change. We try to look at a wider period to make sure that they are growing in the right direction. We will review keywords at times to ensure they are competitive, to ensure that we're not wasting our efforts on keywords that are too competitive, or keywords that don't have enough search traffic. So they will change over time. Page 7, Online Reputation Management. It's important to know what people are saying about your property online. TripAdvisor, Yelp and other popular review sites play an important role in building a reputation of your property. If you're receiving bad reviews online, it will impact your online sales. This table will include important information about your reviews. It's important that you're up to date with what people are saying about your reviews. We will be including important reviews that may be negative that you do need to respond to. So from month to month as you receive these reports, you will see a list of reviews that we think are important for you to reply to. Page 9 will include information on conversions. This information is pulled directly out of the eTourism online reservation system. For hotel e-tourism, in September there were 19 reservations totaling $22,762. We're going to include comparison months just to see how things are tracking. May was 11 bookings with 7,746, June 6 bookings, July 9 bookings and August 9 bookings. This page will give you a quick snapshot of just how things are tracking. Page 10 will include information on content marketing. For the hotel e-tourism, we posted two blogs in September, promoting your specials in e-tourism online and how to boost your blog's performance without creating more content. You can easily click on these links to review the blogs that we've posted. And that will link directly to the blog. We've also included a link to the eTourism Hotel Marketing blog. It's important that you subscribe to this blog. We're frequently publishing information that will help you succeed online. We've also included some related blog posts about content marketing and blogging. If you have a few minutes, we suggest that you click on these links and read these posts. And that is the conclusion of the report. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to drop us a line, support at etourism.com.au. Thank you very much.